Hello, my name is Walter and welcome to a post episode reaction. That is right, I am uh, doing the uh, American Gods uh, season 1, episode 5. Uh, Lemon Scented You, that's right. Uh, I love this episode, I love the artistry that uh, we have uh, seen today. Uh, Crispin Glover as. Um, Mr. World gets me every time. That that is like perfect casting, and I, I I haven't read the books yet, so I don't know like how it's supposed to be and everything. But I've always said this: if you can take something from the book and you know do it in your own way, it's always appreciated by me. And I think I appreciate it more in this episode because I I do see a lot of elements in the book in this uh, episode and uh, the previous episodes as I thought more about it because you know some some parts are just jarring and out of place and you think like oh what's this supposed to be but I'm sure that you know some some of the opening sequences will play into part uh, in the next few episodes and I just thought that the opening sequence was not really necessary but it was also a uh, commentary on the old gods as well in the, in this episode because uh, Mr. Roll did comment on that as well he's like you know what I get it you want to be individualistic and everything but in this world today you know it's all about the group and you know you should want to take advantage of this you know whole new world and we can help you do that and of course Odin is is very against that and uh, you know he's very wary of Mr. World and what he can do I just loved uh, Mr. World's entrance like him walking on the tiles and it was like moon uh, it was like Billie Jean sorry uh, the Billie Jean uh, music video because that is super iconic and you know reminded me of uh, Michael Jackson and that that's really cool for me um, I love media you know she's really interesting she's an interesting being and uh, she's an interesting god um, technical boy is the one that I'm like I I get what you're going for you know you're going for the whole like Millennial uh, look, you know, you want to do the whole like Take him on controversy in a way, you know with the hat and the Jacket and everything and that's what I actually want to do with uh, Take him on controversy um, and uh, this episode also Tells you a lot about uh, Shadow Moon because if you watched my reaction and it's uploading right now, I'm just uh, Probably gonna put this up first because you know copyright claims and everything um, but yeah I think that this episode really showed um, Shadow's resolve and the fact that he doesn't want to be her puppy anymore so to say that's something I was like yes good for you man top notch because like I, I thought they were gonna go with the like cliche nah, okay I'll take you back we'll see where this goes but it, it didn't and I'm I'm really glad it didn't didn't go there um okay what else uh, Odin is really interesting I have to say like that's one of the things like I'm really proud that uh, Ian McShane came to do this and uh, you know he still has it he still has his acting chops and I and I hope he does more and uh, this guy uh, Shadow Moon I, I keep forgetting to look for the actor's name but I remember him in um, in Cloud Atlas I remember him uh, acting in some of the other, other movies as well and uh, you know he does a really good work in this one and really captures the audience's um, reaction towards like the whole like gods coming in but of course we've seen them in action before in other cutscenes it's just that because he's uh, seeing it for the first time and because he doesn't really believe in you know gods and supernatural stuff it is very natural for him to react that way um i thought that the uh, whole um, police sequence you know the whole police scene was just so that mr roll could come in and what was that what was that treant like following shadow was that uh, something from the old gods or the new gods because that was never really explained in that and I think I cut that out you know I was editing so long I, I really forgot what I edited together um, okay and uh, yeah it, there's a lot of 
things to talk about in this episode because you know it's just not just a backstory uh it is you know the consequence of what happens after she comes back into uh, this uh into his life and i'm not bad mouthing the last episode i'm just saying like okay we did need to have that but you could have kept it at 25 minutes and that's why i said it was very easy for me to edit it because there's nothing much to spur the plot or you know make it make the storyline more interesting you know if they added say the first half of this part in the last episode i would have said okay you know they had that to keep it together but it did not and so you know I, that's why i said it's more of a filler uh in this one there is a lot of things because you know our main two protagonists are here Matt Sweeney is, uh, has come back and you know he's like give me back my lucky coin and you know lucky the lucky coin is, is still in uh, Laura and she's like she understands it as well I think like she's starting to realize that this is, there is supernatural things happening around her and she's sort of accepted that because you know she, she not a lot of people come back from the dead so I think that's something interesting to add to her um Alright, the reason I cut out some of the scenes with her is because, you know, she what, uh, in some of the scenes she was nude and I had to cut that out because I was worried about, you know, comedic guidelines and, you know, the whole restricted mode on YouTube and everything, but uh, I also didn't think it added anything much, actually. Only the, maybe the heart part, but again, I was just worried, so uh, if you watch that and see saw me take it out uh that's not you know a body shame thing i was just worried that's all and a lot of you might have not liked that i cut out the uh gay sex scene in the the first episode that i did which is episode three i did episode three with you guys and you didn't maybe you didn't like me taking out the um gay sex scene that's why i took out the um uh the you know the normal sex scene in the the get uh, the get gone episode uh, the fourth episode that I did with you guys as well. Okay, and um, uh, coming back to this episode, I just thought that um, there was a lot of subtext with media and you know Mr. World and you know Mr. World. I think he legitimately does respect you know the old gods but he also has it in his mind that it's it's time for change it's time for newer things it's time for newer growth and you know um mr world understands that with the old gods you gotta keep your you know your your uh, discussions and your like word choice to be proper and of course with the whole new millennium thing with the whole pc culture i don't know how that happened like by the way like we just flipped the script on like the f word and oh this is uh this is this word is uh, a little bit too offensive and you know some words are a little bit too offensive i'm just saying that you know the f word and the s word and, you know fuck shit uh, bullshit uh sometimes you gotta use it because sometimes that's the only word you can use in a situation like that you can't censor people because of that anyway uh so that is very much the reason why mr world caused media to uh, help him uh smack technical boy in the most interesting thing sequence sorry i've ever seen in my life like she blows a kiss and it smacks him in the face i'm like oh my god that's such a good visual i had to keep it in i'm like yeah that was such a good visual it, it deserves being in there because i'm like wow you can literally kiss a guy's teeth out and mr Bolo is like that's my gift to you shadow i'm not your enemy and i'm like oh good for you man good for you um, I also thought that uh, their attempts at uh, bribing Odin was quite interesting because, you know, they wanted to give him a fucking missile and I'm like, dude, take it, <laughs> you know, and, you know, they're, they're, they're gonna aim it at uh, North Korea and I'm like, hey, 
uh, but again, I'm like, yeah, it isn't, it isn't good at all to, uh, you know, ignite war without any cause. So, but again, he's the god of war. So, uh, in the Norse uh, uh, mythology, the 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 Greek one is Ares. Um, and that's all I remember. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I I would have liked more like conventional. Um, gods with like say uh, the Greek gods like I mentioned Ares maybe Zeus you know Hercules no not Hercules Hercules was a dumb god but you know Athena those kind of things but I do like that they are using these type of like Nordic folklore and newer stuff to bring in this and of course like now with the new gods we can input more stuff like and uh, you know the whole thing about him like vaping and everything and that is just like that's just perfect um there's this perfect uh reflection on society to take because like there was a time when we were absolutely crazy about vaping and all that shit so um i never got that by the way like what is that so what like it's just an electronic cigarette that costs more than a electronic cigarette get a fucking electronic cigarette like seriously and it is not to say like uh it isn't really smoking it still is smoking i don't get people these days anyway <laughs> um so yeah um we have now we have uh shadow moon going fully solo and i think he's gonna try to accept these things that are thrown at him right now uh, Matt Sweeney, I thought, did a really good job in this episode because he was like, give me the fucking coin. And of course, she's like, nah. And I think she's pretty smart. Like, you know, uh, Laura's pretty smart. And, like, I'm not really shaming her in any way, okay? I, I, I said some things in the last episode. Maybe you guys didn't like me saying it, but you know what she only waited like 13 months she said to herself like she waited a baker's month and i was like that's not nearly enough like you know if it was like maybe you know longer th 24 months or you know 26 months whatever i would have said yeah i guess you know the love spark went on and whatever but again she didn't really love uh shadow moon so that kind of makes sense as well um, I really like that she still has all the scars on her um, body, and uh, the Matt Sweeney nailed it on his, uh, nailed it on the head because he was like, "Yeah, be careful when you're out in the open, Gary. You'll probably melt off, and when you do, I'll reach under your ribs and get that coin out of you." Which I'm like, "Wait, I thought you were supposed to wait for her to give it." To you, I guess if it's in the open, you could just take it. So um, yeah, nothing much else to say. But uh, this was a really interesting episode. It really dived into it again, uh, as I thought the last episode was going to. But uh, we did need that backstory with Shadow and um, Laura to understand their relationship, and I appreciated that they still did it. I'm just like maybe cut it out so uh yeah that's about it guys and i will see you in the next episode see you then